Retro. Hello everyone, I'm Dr Ashton. I'm talking into the camera because I've finally managed to stag myself a friendly cameraman to help out. Right, today I'm reviewing a microwave crisp maker. You may have heard of these in the media recently. They're devices for making crisps out of potatoes in the microwave. They're supposed to be quick and easy, and they're supposed to be very healthy. Is this true? I don't know. So I sent off for one, and I received this very, very exciting piece of single plastic with some grooves in it. Very high tech. Now, for this recipe, you're going to need a potato. And that's it. Now, for cutting potatoes, I would generally recommend a chainsaw, of course. However, you're going to need very thin slices, so it's a job for the longsword. Right, the next stage of the instructions say to take the potato slices, put them individually in the little white thing, and then stick that in the microwave for five minutes. You then have to put it in for one minute incrementally in order to see if any little brown spots have appeared. And when the brown spots start to appear, we're in crisp heaven, apparently. Right, time to don the microwaving hat, and let's get busy. Okay, here's our sliced potato in the device. I haven't filled it up because I'm lazy, and also, hopefully, that will cook a bit quicker. OK, in the microwave. Size it for five minutes. And away we go. Let's have a look. Hmm. No sign of any brown spots as yet. They've gone a bit. Oh no, there's a few brown spots on that one. Oh, hot. Okay. Give them another minute. What's the brown spot situation? Still getting closer, I think. Another minute should do it. Mm. Oh, we have a definite brown spot in the house. Many of them, in fact. Look at that. Okay, let's leave them to rest for a minute or two. Apparently, they become crisp during the drying process. Dun 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 dun! And here's the finished product. Hmm. Well, I've gone for the healthy option. I haven't put any flavourings or anything on them. No salt, and I've left the outside of the skin on. Hmm, healthy. But what do they taste like? Hmm. An interesting combination between burnt and soggy. I think perhaps they haven't entirely mastered this microwave crisp making lark as yet. Oh well. Well, that's the end of that. In conclusion, well, it's pretty much like buying your own crisps at the shop, except half the price, 4,397 times as much hassle, and about a third as good at the end. Don't bother! Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Ashen, and I'm talking into the camera because I've finally managed to snag myself a friendly cameraman. Now... Oh, I didn't actually throw because you looked so scared! Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Right, let's, let's run again.